Codex Alimentarius is a very neutral and um, science-based uh, standard-setting body. The role of science within Codex and, and the importance of providing scientific advice to Codex is to try and ensure that when we start this discussion about standard setting, we at least have a level playing field in terms of our knowledge of an issue. Because Codex is based on... Uh, on uh, scientific advice uh, research uh, so that uh, when, when there's an issue and none of the countries has the research uh, data, uh, then we make a reference to the, the codex standards. It's important that the techniques we use for nuclear science, for, for, for measuring things in food and for processing food, uh, complies with the, with, the, with the codex standards. And so we can help uh, codex in, in developing their standards, but also Codex helps us. It gives us a framework that we can uh, take to our member countries. From our interests, having standards that are science-based makes them predictable, makes them globally acceptable, and ultimately helps them protect the consumer. When um, countries base their national food safety requirements on an international codex standard, we sometimes describe it, describe it as a safe haven where they're um, relatively safe from challenge because codex standards are based on science and the SPS agreement requires that measures be based on international standards and on science. What WTO does is rather than listen to country A over country B, the first thing they say is, is there a neutral scientific standard, and for food, that's Codex. Codex already is the preeminent science-based international food safety and quality standard setting body.